what is up guys this is vishu from savage camp and in today's video we are going to look at the nice command so to start with if we do a top you will see we have an ni over here which is nice and we will see 0.0, .0 nice and in the last video i told you this needs a new video on itself because there were a lot of things to be covered and i didn't want to confuse you with more stuff about night so let's look at this i press q to exit this and i have a script over here very basic script all it does is while i which means that while there's a variable it will echo the number then increment the number and sleep for six seconds and it will keep doing that for infinite until infinity so pretty uh bad script to write but this is only for testing never write a script that goes until infinity because because it will never stop so if i want to run this let's just do dot slash test dot sh and this is starting to run and if i go in my other terminal and do a top you will see that we have a lot of uh, processes but i can type u and it will ask me which user so i can do wish you and it will give me all my processes so this there's a sleep process that is going on and all the processes have a nice value of zero now i want to keep this open because i want you to see the change what happens when we change the nice value so nice is nothing but telling the processor that this process has a priority higher than other or priority lower than other so if you tell a process is nice, the processor is going to put it backwards because it is a nice process. So if you give a process a nice value of 15, the processor will think it's a nice process so I can do it later on. If you give a process a nice value of 5, the processor will think this is not that nice of a process so I will have to do it earlier. So the smaller the nice value is, the higher would be the priority and the default priority is 10 so here we have all the processes with a nice value of 0 and priority of 10 what i will do is put nice and then i will do minus n to give a nice value so let's give this process a nice value of 3 and then i will do dot slash test dot sh when i run this this is running again and here you will see two processes with a nice value of 3. So this has a priority. Just forget about this. Focus on the nice value right now. These two uh, processes have a nice value of 3. And so they are being executed before everyone else. Now, what if you want to execute this process, but suddenly you come to know that, hey, I don't need this process to have this uh, high of a priority so you use the re nice command so this process is already running so i don't want to stop this but i want to lower its priority so there are only two processes running with a nice id of three and i already know this is the process id because the other process is the sleep process that we have over here so i'll take the process id and let's press q to exit from here and i will do re nice minus n and i'm going to give this a priority of 15 and then you have to give minus p for process id and i will put in the process id of 3497 that is the process id of the shell script that is running over here so if i hit enter it gives me a message that process id 3497 had an old priority of 3 new one is 15 so let's go back to top press u for user and i will put my username and now you will see we have two processes running with a nice value of 15. so we saw how to set a nice value and how to re-nice that process again if you want another example let's go back up and put this uh, re-nice as two and now it says that fail to set priority permission denied so let's do a sudo 
Anytime you get a permission denied, always remember sudo will help you do that. So now you will see that old priority was 15, new priority is 2. If I do top, you and wish you here, you will see we have two processes with a nice value of 2. So I think that is it for this video guys. You can do a lot of stuff with nice. Uh, this is very basics for beginners and you can do a man of nice and try to implement all the options that we have over here. So we have adjustment. Actually, we only have three. So we have adjustment, which we did minus and help and version. So let's try renice. So renice has PID because you need to tell which process you are changing and minus G is for the group ID. So it would just change for a bunch of groups. So I think that is enough for this video guys and I will see you guys in the next one.